Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. This one is an HP 15 BS011 model. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up, how to repaste and clean up your motherboard and CPU and clean up your fan system, the whole thing. This video applies for any HP 15 BS model. So it doesn't matter if you're a BS 0, 11, 0, 12 or whatever, as long as it's a 15 BS model, this video is for you. All right, let's keep this video really short and let's get to the point. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop completely. Then you want to flip it over. Now we're going to start removing the battery. To remove the battery, your trigger will be like this. You want to slide this trigger towards the other side and you should see the logo of the unlock uh, lock right there. And the, list, the next one, you want to slide it, it gently and a little bit hard actually. And then while you're sliding, try to help it out. Put your finger right here and slide back the battery. All right, that's how you remove the battery. Next, you want to grab a few tools. Tool number one is screwdriver set. I really highly recommend you guys to grab the iFixit the screwdriver set. And from this screwdriver, we're going to grab the Phillips number one from here. You will need an opening tool. You can get the pro set of this screwdriver set. I'll leave the link in the description, in the video description. Or if you don't want to get the pro set, at least you got to get yourself a, what is it, a guitar pick, a metallic guitar pick, which is really suitable to opening covers and plastic. So now that we removed, also you will need a Utama paste. I'll recommend you guys grab the Arctic MX4 if you want. It's really good. If you want to go a little crazy, go ahead with the Thermo Grizzly Cryonaut. These are top of the brand of the Thermo Paste. But as a for a consumer, we're going to be using an MX4, Arctic MX4. Also, you need an alcohol, isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol, 95 plus. You will need a shop uh, towels. You can get this one in any home hardware stores. These are really suitable to do your own service and maintain it. So grab these ones, uh, one or two sheets of this. Uh, with all this uh, on hand, now we're going to start proceeding with opening the cover. Once you remove the battery, you're going to see two more egg screws under the battery and one hidden camera flashed in the middle, two on the sides and one right on the middle. Go ahead and remove all these screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Also, I realized there is only 1% of my viewers are subscribed to my channel. If you guys find my content helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like button and subscribing to the channel. Also, you can help me out by using my Amazon links in my video description to do your own purchases. I'll get a little bit of the commission from whatever you purchase. That will be a really nice support. Now, once you remove all these screws, but there's a four more hidden screws, one under each rubber legs in here. You can lift up the rubber legs, just putting a guitar pick on the bottom, and the screw is right in the corner, so you don't have to remove the whole thing. And I'm gonna be using a magnet to just pull it out easy. The front side, I just used my fingernail to lift it up. You can use the guitar pick. Again, these screws are the same size as the rest. Once you remove all the screws, now you need to open up the laptop a little bit. And you want to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover, just like that. As far as it goes, about two or three millimeters. And now you want to twist it towards the outside and you want to hit those clicks. Just keep twisting walk around, work it around and twist, twist, and you should hear those big click sounds. You're not breaking anything, you're just loosening them up. Just keep going towards the outside always. Go all the way to the back corner. Same thing over here. Twist. There you go. 
Once you did all that, now you can close up the screen, flip it upside down again. Now, at the back, on the, by the battery right here, you should get these two clips here loosened up. If yours is not loosened up, just stick it right in between those and just twist a little bit and you should loosen up these two hinge right there. But now we need to loosen up this one and this one right here. To loosen up this one right here, you can't just simply put it underneath and twist, otherwise you're going to break it. To loosen up this one, you need to grab the cover only that is already loosened up in here. Put your fingers underneath, just like this. Just grab the cover. And now I'm going to put my hand here, the other hand here, holding it, breaking it down. I'm going to lift it up a little bit and I'm going to twist it gently, bring it towards the battery a little bit. Lift it up a little bit and bring it and then you're gonna see these two clicks are snapped out now once you release this side bring it up and push it towards the hdmi cable everything like that wiggle around and the bottom cover should come out pretty easy all right now down here we're gonna see the whole heat sink and the fan and it is really dirty to remove the fan first we gotta start removing the X clamp on the CPU, go ahead and remove this one, the tiny screws, there are four of them. Once you remove these four screws, go ahead and lift up the heat sink a little bit from there and pull it backward. And now you can grab an old toothbrush or new toothbrush, whatever you like, and take it outside and clean it up. The fan, there's a screw right under here. Under this cable, there's a tiny screw. You can move the cable a little bit to the side so you can reach that screw right there and remove it. Or well, just loosen it up and then wiggle around and bring it up and there's the screw. Now you can unhook the fan by wiggling this jack. I usually don't like pulling on the jack. You can put your fingernails right by the jack right there. There's a tiny ear lobes and then pull it out from there. Just wobble it around a little bit. You need to wiggle around. If you can't, it's really hot because of the heat in there. Grab a little bit of tweezers right there. I'll stick it right in between. There. And then just move it around. And then it should come loose. There we go. But it makes it easier to clean it up. So you can lift it up and clean up the dust underneath. Uh, you can take this outside and clean it up with an air can, a vacuum cleaner, whatever you want. And that should be all. All right, let me take it outside and clean it up, and I'll be back. There we go. Now I cleaned it up nicely. So what we're going to do right now is to grab the workshop towel a little bit. And we're going to soak it in with an alcohol. Now we're going to clean up the CPU first. Just rub it on top. This alcohol is not conductive, so you can nicely clean it up with a dry part and leave it shiny right there. Do not touch the crystal dye after cleaning because you don't want to leave your fingerprints or grease on top. Remove the excess of the thermal paste on here and clean this side too. And then you can trash the rest. Now, first thing first, we want to put the fan in place. So put the jack right there. Slide it right in there. Bring it, align it right under the cables. And put that tiny screw that you removed or medium screw. Make sure you're not pinching any cables. And put the flex cable over. Grab your thermal paste, put a tiny drop on the CPU die and on the secondary die, just put a tiny drop right there in the middle. Now this is important, once you bring the heat sink down, you're going to bring it down straight on the top and hold it down while you're putting the screws. So I'm going to prepare the second screw, so I'm going to put down the screw right in the corner. Always cross screw them. Do not go round and round. Always do one, two. Actually, they have a number one, two, three, four, or do doesn't matter where you start. Always cross screw them. So that way the 
thermal phase is spread evenly uh, over the crystal die. There we go. Once you're done with this one, and the rest should be really simple, grab the cover, bring down and put the HDMI side down first, scoop it in. Make sure you scoop this side down and squeeze it, hit that tiny clex, and then bring it over to the battery, bring it a little back, squeeze this under the battery, and then the rest just snap it in place, just push it real hard, and that's it. Now you can open up the laptop a little bit, and you're gonna see this opening, all you need to do is pinch them together, the top and the bottom cover, and it should snap in place, all the way to the back corner. And the last thing would be to just put down the bottom screws, and that should be all. I hope you guys like this video and helps you guys to do your own service and maintenance for your HP laptop 15 BS model. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in the video description, video comment. And as always, I will try to answer all my comments that you guys leave. If you have any requests, leave them in there. And if you want to support the channel, you can use the, my links from my Amazon affiliate links and or click that like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.